Hey, the K-State Athletic Department is keeping busy with plenty of construction. we got the Shamrock Zone, the Volleyball and Olympic Training Center finishing up soon, and now an indoor football facility, brand new. But what happens to that old indoor facility? I caught up with K-State Athletic Director Gene Taylor this week to see how the Cats are recycling that space. K-State Track and Field is getting a new home, well, indoor home. After decades inside Ahern Fieldhouse on K-State's campus, the track team is moving into K-State football's old indoor facility, cleared from the football team with the completion of the new indoor field. Like the grateful officer Macklemore once said, one man's old football space, that's another man's come up. We're going to be able to do those events without having to compromise what we're doing because of something else that's going on. And that's, again, that's kind of rare. It certainly was rare in Ahern. <laughs> uh, and it, it's rare in a lot of indoor facilities, so that's going to be pretty nice. To... Simple math for this one from the jump. Need a new space? Fill in the old place. It was all part of the plan. As soon as we knew we were going to build that one, we already started working on the design of the indoor track. Other than simply needing an upgrade from the 70-year-old Ahern, the move now puts track all in one place. Instead of a drive onto campus, it's a 30-second walk from Coach Revelto's office to the indoor to the outdoor. It's more more convenient um, indoor and outdoor facilities are going to be right next to each other um, with the Olympic Training Center going in you know weight room and training room you know now we're basically in one location whereas before we were kind of across campus. With the exception of the golf teams at Colbert Hills all the athletics teams have their headquarters within a quarter mile of Bill Snyder Family Stadium. The new Olympic uh, Training Center where the weight room is you know, it's just all right there. All the Olympic sports will be able to train and, and, and prepare and be ready in the Olympic Training Center. The transition's already begun. With the football turf gone and state-of-the-art track equipment expected to be finished in late 2023, with hopes of hosting track meets by January. You'll literally be able to run, you know, a 100-meter hurdle race or kind of, sort of, 110-meter hurdle race, you know, on a straightaway uh, indoors, which is... I don't know of anywhere else really where you can do that. The move is part of K-State Athletics years-long Building Champions Initiative. The latest of $126 million donor-funded upgrades including Boozer Family Park, Toynton Family Stadium, the Shamrock Zone, and the nearly complete Volleyball and Olympic Training Center. Millions later, the pocketbooks need some vacation time. I think we're going to be done with major facility renovations for a while. Um, I think we're going to give our donors a little bit of a break, uh, which they're probably pretty happy about. While great for new recruits, the move from Ahern doesn't come without some sentimentals from Revelto. For 35 years, I <laughs> trained and, and competed in there, so it, it, uh, there's a lot of fond memories of things that happened there. So. Yeah, and Gene Taylor clarified to me, going to be major upgrades to the building itself, new air conditioning and heating and state-of-the-art track yeah. that the best of the best is going it's even there. a bank track the fancy kind and yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we want to be clear it's not that they're just throwing some rubber track mm -hmm. in that football facility it, it isn't just the old football well place. i think it, they're making yeah, this what'd you say, 12 million dollar project yep, so it's, it's going to be very nice they'll probably host more indoor track meets too which will be nice mm -hmm. 